Hmm? Wow, what is that you're sat on? May or may not just be my new dining table that you're gonna see later on in the video. <gasps> my boots look really saggy from this angle. It's moving day. It should have been moving month, but of course I've left it all to the last minute. And some circumstances have changed. So I have left it to the last day, night. I need to get everything out of my old flat by tonight and in here. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. It's definitely going to be a long one. There I was living in my optimism slash delusion that I got this flat a whole month early so I could slowly move everything over. Did I do that? No. Was I supposed to spend the whole of this afternoon moving stuff over? Yes. What did I do instead? Cry in bed. It's been rough. I've actually just been feeling really rough for the last 24 hours. I don't know why, you know, sometimes it's just like woof, out of nowhere. Potentially also because I am on my period, but I cried so hard last night that I've got the most pounding headache in the back of my head. Over what? I, like, I could not tell you. Anyway, I'm gonna head back to the old flat now, take down all this rubbish. That is all rubbish. Yes, correct, that is all rubbish. Cool, also, disaster struck the other day. I was trying to move my rug around and I accidentally knocked over a reed diffuser and I've just got a beautiful new media TV cabinet. Whoosh, the oil goes everywhere. Silly me does a half-assed job of cleaning it up and because I thought I'd clean it up the next day. Can you see that? It removed so much paint off it and literally devastated. What the hell? Maybe this was why I had my meltdown. Fairly justified. First load of stuff carried over oh my god that was so hard i've worked out the boxes are not efficient because i'm having to carry anything but this this is what i'm talking about this is innovation this is the future this was not what i wanted something has exploded and i'm questioning everything round oh god someone's coming in round two also how sad i dropped my nice white fluffy blanket on the floor of the car park and now it's not white I mean, it's still fluffy but i think she's gonna need to go in the wash this is the exploding bag in question over here we'll deal with her later it's a good few days later now god it literally what if it had been a week I literally have no idea. Losing all concept of time. Apologies for how ratty I look this morning. I actually, in fact, have been having one of the biggest breakdowns of my life for the last 24 hours or something we don't have to talk about. There were clothes on the floor in the background. It was bugging me, sorry. I'm trying to cover up everything in the background because I want to be able to show you like all my nice new furniture bits all together. If anyone's wondering how my walk-in wardrobe's coming along. Yes vibes <laughs> it's the way there's a chopping board in this suitcase like absolute chaos anyway as i was saying this morning i had a very very exciting delivery one that i've been waiting for for so long who knew that it honestly takes about a calendar year to get any piece of furniture i placed an order for some tea towels some tea towels and some cushion linens about three weeks ago no, it's to be seen, babe. You are looking at my new bedside tables. Wow. Hey, Frisch. Hey. This is my friend Fuzz's teddy, Frisch, and I'm looking after him for a little bit. These are my new bedside tables. I literally think they are the most perfect things ever. I really like that they're really high. They've got two shelves. I can put some nice books and, like, display stuff sort of on the bottom of it, and then a big, beautiful lamp. They're from Oka. I also kind of like the way they're, like, slightly oriental looking. I'm really into... The that by because if you didn't know yes i did go to japan and it is my one personality trait it would be yours too wow wow we wow she has bedside tables sorry about my creased bed sheets if you iron your bed sheets oh my gosh <laughs> I've literally just clocked that the end of the duvet is on the side as well. Whoopsie. If you iron your bed sheets, you actually have it together. Congratulations. Here are my new bedside tables. Wow. Seeing the visions. Get some big, beautiful, maybe gold lamps. I'm not too sure. They're quite big. I knew they were going to be quite big, but I didn't really mind. Because I have my wardrobe, I'm not that funny about saving space in my room. I just more so want it to look really pretty because it doesn't really have to serve to function all too much. I need to put my throws and stuff in the wash just to get them all nice and fresh, but wow, chaff. Good morning. Good morning.
It is way too early. Also had way too little sleep last night. But in exciting news, girls, I spy something with my little eye that looks like it could be some balcony furniture. I'm not gonna do the whole excuse how ratty I look, but I am gonna do the whole excuse how ratty I look. I'm going through it, okay? One man band nowadays. I have to do and assemble everything myself. Cool. Ooh, it's dirty. Uh, oh, big slam. Sorry, neighbours. I'm pretty unsure as to whether I could fit it. It's not even 8am. I don't know whether I can fit it through this hallway, but where there's a wheel, there's a way. I was just stamped my nail last night. <gasps> Pain. Ow! Oh! Lucky for them, they don't know I'm an improviser, an adapter, and an overcomer. With just a hello, wow, with just a bog standard kitchen knife, because who knew that you're not allowed to buy knives online? I mean, it makes a lot of sense, but to me, that was mind blowing. I'm terrified this is just all going to fall out. Wow, I have to build this. Please, I'm way too sexy to be assembling garden furniture. Trying to cover up something I wanna show you later, but I need to get everything out of this box and out onto here, and I will show you once I've done so. But seeing as we've all been so patient with this garden so far, oh my God, a spooky ghost. Seeing as we've all been so patient with this garden scent, oh my, I really, I can't do this this morning. Seeing as we've all been so patient with this garden so far, you're gonna get a Fun transition! Wow, they say I don't treat you. It's a bog standard one because these brain cells aren't working. So it's babe. Whoop. Bazinga, baby. Looking pretty drab at the moment, I won't lie. I've got these nice cushions to go on it. I also kind of maybe want to get a rug as well. I don't really know if I want to keep the table that came with it. Um, I would quite like to get my own one. Maybe like a small gold one or a small sort of like cane one. This is just not really it for me, but it will do for now. I assembled every single thing myself. It took just under maybe an hour and a half. Can't wait to drink my matches out here. Aperol's in the evening. My plan is to weave some sort of balloon lights across here um, and then I also saw something that a girl sent me where you hang like a sheer mesh curtain and put all fairy lights in it so maybe I could do that I was also thinking maybe like a big fake sort of like hanging tree but I don't know I could just be cluttering it too much but let me know what you guys think what else I could do with the space I'm just so excited to have a sofa point of view your me on my new garden sofa If you saw some of the setups we have, unprofessional or innovative? deliveries such exciting deliveries you guys aren't going to be able to contain your excitement when you see these my physical and mental i am scared of myself and we'll leave it at that does putting sunglasses on help no but it adds a bit of zest so we're keeping them on i don't mean to alarm you but i went pretty crazy on amazon the other night first up Command strips. Wow, I know what a time to be alive. I got the extra big ones because I've got a couple of paintings that I need to hang up, which I'm hopefully going to do today. Some more large command strips. I don't know why they've come unpackaged in black wrap. That is bizarre. But anyway, also got a hook. Um, this is specifically designed for bathrooms because I want to hang my dressing gown on the back of my door. Do you hear that? Ugh. Oh my gosh, way too much banana. I'm back on my matcha game as well. I also got these little cups from Amazon. I got a baby pink one and a black one. These metal cups are so much better for your iced coffees than the plastic Starbucks ones because they keep them so much more cold and all the ice doesn't melt as quickly. Ooh, my Dunkin' one is still my favorite because it's so big. It can fit such a big volume. But I got these ones in a slightly smaller size. And I'm really 
enjoying a bit of ASMR for you on whatever morning you're watching this. You're so welcome. Morning, evening, afternoon. Isn't that so weird that, wow, the sun's come out. Isn't that so weird that I'm filming this, but someone could watch this in a year? Like, for the first time. Mind blowing. Ooh! More command strip and these little hooks, which I used to have on the inside of my wardrobe at the old flat. And they were so handy for hanging up necklaces and bags and everything. So I just got some more of these. Something else I really need to do is start designing. Well, I've already kind of designed it. My wardrobe room. I did the whole IKEA packs thing because that's what I'm going to be using. But some of the stuff was out of stock. So I need to do that today. Hopefully, fingers crossed. The bits I want and the bits I need are back in stock. It is going to be a sensational room. I'm also torn between whether I want all black wardrobes or white. Because I want black. I really want black. I just think like a black dressing room. Oh, Doing things to me. I want it to be like a really... I want to walk in there and be like, Wah. do you know what I mean? And white won't do that for me. But it's also probably going to be a room where I'll take a lot of pictures in. And I need it to be light. Ugh. <sighs> God, it's a lot, it's a lot, I won't lie. Next up on something more exciting. Whoa! A box, wow. See that? It's got yellow inside. You know what that means? Wow! I bought a saddlebag, joking, I bought a toaster and kettle. But not just any toaster and kettle. I, please, God, please don't tell me they sent me the wrong color. <sighs> Why is it blue on the outside? It was not supposed to be blue. Oh, it's got a cream sticker on, we're okay. I decided to treat myself to a smeg toaster and a smeg kettle. I just feel like they're so classic. And with things like a toaster and kettle, what? has my youtube come to wow the sun is out i think i've already said that the things like a toaster and kettle i tell myself it's an investment piece because i'm gonna have these for a long time when i buy a house i will have these and i know when i buy a house i will want a smeg kettle because look how cute we had cream kettle and toaster in our last flat and i never got sick of it so I'm really sorry, this is really, <laughs> this is not it. <laughs> Hopefully some of you will be as excited about this as I am. Meow. It's all these little things that you just kind of forget about, like toaster, kettle. When I moved in here, I felt so equipped with everything because it was all furnished. I only just ordered my dining chairs last night because it took me so long to find some I like. I ended up going for ones which I wasn't upset. I'm not obsessed with them, but they will look nice. Sometimes I have to just take the pressure off and I'm like, Flossie, you don't even know what you're looking for. I was looking for sage green dining chairs, but every single chair I looked at, I was like, oh, I don't want velvet because I'm not sure if velvet will look a little bit too glam in my apartment. Or, oh, I don't want suede because if I drop something on suede, I can't clean it. I don't want leather because it looks too masculine. Then I was contemplating whether I even wanted sage green at all and whether that would go. So I just settled for the most bog standard dining chairs and I'm like girl just do it it's going to look fine I've genuinely been more picky with home interiors than I am with clothes oh I got a text ow no wonder I'm losing nails I don't even want to talk about the amount of boxes I need to take down to the rubbish chute are they matching are they definitely the same yeah they're the same color oh my god I'm so excited these two little gadgets could make it did you know that toasters have these and you're supposed to clean them out all the time? Name me one person who's ever done that. These two little gadgets could be with me when I have kids. What's the lifespan of a toaster? I literally have no idea. I'm gonna put these on my side and maybe hang up my paintings. And I'll show you when I do. <gasps> It's all coming together. It is all coming together. Exciting times ahead of us, honey. Proud of you. Love you. This one time this um, boy I was dating was a SoundCloud rapper. <laughs> and one of his looks was like mum's proud of me. Questionable, questionable, questionable. 
Anyway. Oh my gosh, guys. My chairs came. I have spent... Wow. Look at that tan line. Cool. I spent so long deciding on chairs. I really wanted like a sage green velvet chair. And I found these beautiful ones. But they weren't going to be shipped till December. And I don't really want to be waiting till December. And they were also around £300 a chair. So it was going to work out quite expensive. So I just got these really basic ones. They're from John Lewis. But I'm going to take them out now and put them around my dining table. I've also just found Jack Grealish, Grealish, Gra um, hello. I'm living vicariously, <laughs> my toe lol. I'm living vicariously and pretending this is me. I've also woken up with like such bad skin, so I've got spot cream all over my face. When have I looked presentable through this whole time? Hello. What is going on? Alexa, pause. I think someone's playing music through my Alexa. Help, I can't decide if I hate these chairs. <laughs> I just don't think they're doing the most. I mean, they were pretty affordable as far as dining chairs go. I don't know. I feel like because I love the table so much, just don't think this is really... These are really doing too much. Oh, regrets, regrets. Let me know what you guys think. I mean, I will keep them because... I can't really be asked. No, this is the first thing I've got where I'm just like, I don't like it. Like, I just don't think it works. They definitely need like a kind of more grand chair around them. Oh, Flossia, you should have got the chairs. I should have just gone chairless till December. I also kind of want to maybe get a hanging lamp the same way I've got this one here to go over the table. But then I don't know if that's weird having two hanging lamps. Like That definitely will look odd. I don't know. Maybe I can just move that lamp because I'm just thinking for dinners and stuff. It would be so nice to have that sort of light. Oh, these chairs are really, really ruined my day. <laughs> On a more exciting note, I got this beautiful vase from John Lewis. I also just got a bin for my other bathroom. Ah, no! Just got polystyrene balls everywhere. No! I mean, I'm saying that like I hoovered this morning. I definitely have not. My life right now is spent cleaning up after myself. How can one person make so much mess all the time? I am way too sexy to have to clean up after myself. I feel like a bit of a traitor buying something that's not from my mum and dad's gallery. Mummy, daddy, if you're watching this, I am so sorry, but I feel like they'll forgive me once they see it. It's, ah! Can we also just talk about the fact someone in my building literally must have connected to my Alexa because I have never heard that song in my life. There is no way that was coming out of my phone. So I got this vase because I thought it was really sweet. It's kind of like Japanese-y, but I can't decide whether it just looks like an old woman's vase. Why have I messed up so bad? My plan with this was also, lol, my painting fell down in the middle of the night and honestly gave me a heart attack. I'm not even exaggerating. I maybe wanted to put it here with the pampas coming out of it. Also accidentally took my curtain down lol. Or have it on this bedside table. I feel like it works better on the bedside table because of the black. I feel like that looks better. As I said, I've got some gold lamps coming for these. And what sort of flowers do I put in there? You know what I mean? No, neither do I. Okay, so it's a bit later now. I've actually had a bath and a whole nap. I've been so tired recently. I've been having to take about one nap a day, which is not really like me. She has struggled to get to sleep. You can see all the boxes in the back, but I'm finally going to close this video off and show you all the updates to my flat. So exciting. Excuse the puffy nap eyes as well. I literally look like a little girl. Just got my dressing gown out of the wash though. Name a better feeling. So obviously you come through my door here. I've got these boxes, which I need to take down to the rubbish and then this is my bathroom or my gas bathroom i haven't really shown anything else in here because there's not much to do but obviously i've got all my stuff from the old flat i decided to put my youtube plaque in here i don't know why an odd place to have it but maybe it isn't an odd place to have it i don't know where else you put a youtube plaque someone texted me Ooh, wasn't the text i wanted got this little mango wood thing i had at the old flat with some of my favorite skincare on it there's literally nothing to show here then in my hallway i have the console table which I kind of used as a dressing table but I never actually used it as a dressing table because I never got a stool for it. It's quite low. I did buy it as a console table like knowing it was a console table and to be honest I don't really do my makeup at a dressing table anyway. Maybe I would if I had one but
but I've always done my makeup just sat on the floor my whole life. But I am planning on getting dressing tables for my wardrobe room. I'm going off on a whole tangent, sorry. This was in my old room. You'll probably recognize it. Same mirror as my old room, same tray as my old room. I'm using this to sort of keep my keys. I've got like some command strips and stuff in here. Just a nice little setup. This is a card that my sister did for me once for my birthday and it's a little charcoal sketch of our dog Molly who I miss so much. Got some cute little sunglasses, the box that my Gucci tights came in. I just think this is so beautiful. Like, it's such a display box. I'll probably play around with this um, the more decor I buy, but for now it works. Also, the Dalesford Reed Diffuser, if you watch that vlog, she's here taking Stenta stage. Then you come through to my living room dining area. I've got the rug that was in my old bedroom, the old flat, and of course we have my new dining table and chairs. I'm warming to these chairs more. I know I had a little bit of a mini meltdown when they first came, but they work. They go with the table. You know, they're black rattan chairs. Um, I was just potentially having a huge hissy fit over nothing. I'm so obsessed with this table this is like something I invested quite a lot of money into. This table is from Soho Home. It's just everything I could have ever dreamt of. That is my washing machine. Not my washing machine, sorry, my dishwasher <laughs> draining. I've got this, which I had in my old bedroom on here. Once again, we'll probably play around with like vases and stuff on here. I was kind of thinking like a small tray. I want to put something here, either a bar cart, the big hanging lamp, but I'm kind of written off the big hanging lamp because I think it would just look odd to have two. Maybe like a really small little cabinet or a really small table. I'm just not sure. It's there, so I feel like something is just meant to be here, you know? I have these three gold frames with some pictures of obviously my mum and dad, me and my friend Byron, and me and my friend Ben when we were shooting his music video. All really lovely memories and I love having them there on the wall. I also love the way they're gold and you get the sun in this room so nicely in the evenings and it just bounces off and looks gorgeous. Obviously you come around to my kitchen, I'm actually just about to make some peach iced tea. I've been making peach iced tea recently with this iced tea and it's just so nice to have like a big jug of that in the fridge. See my kettle and my toaster, nothing fun my dales for mitts if you remember these as well i also had this big zara home order of big zara home order of tea towels and they haven't come so i'm having to use these for tea towels they're having to be washed quite regularly then obviously moving outside i have my lovely garden furniture which has honestly just made such a difference to this apartment i actually just took a nap out there <laughs> that was where i fell asleep got a blanket got pablo and took a little nap so I need to take that blanket um, and the cushion and Pablo back inside but I think they seem pretty happy there for now. I can't remember if I've already said but I've got lots of cushions coming for this sofa. I really want to go kind of maybe like florally cushions. I'm just not sure because I want floral cushions so that it's like colourful and vibrant outside but I don't know if it will go with the kind of grey neutral. Then coming around to my living area I got this deep pile rug from made.com. Um, um, my sofa was from somewhere called M Sofas Direct. It was literally so affordable for a big sofa, especially compared to so many other sofas. I think this was 800 or 900 pounds, which sounds like a lot. Some of the ones I was looking at were no joke, four or five grand. So yeah, I'm very lucky that I managed to find this one. I actually preferred it as well to those four or five grand ones. And I was so skeptical ordering it that I wouldn't like it, but it's just delicious and I really enjoy it. How have I still not got the tag off this? And how am I still not gonna cut it off? Problem for another day. On my sofa, I have some cushions all from Zara Home. These two are really old. They were actually used to be on my bed back in the old flat. I did order some other fluffy cushions from John Lewis, but they're actually on my bed now and I'll explain why. Yeah, all the cushions you see are from Zara Home. This hanging lamp is from John Lewis. And I also, guys, I have everything in here. I've built it all myself like I was about to say are we proud that's like a very bog standard thing to do I love the way the sun comes in here in the evenings like the golden hour in this flat is just beautiful I'm very very lucky obviously I have my sister's beautiful painting up there which keeps falling down and giving me the fright of my life then I have my media unit and a little pair of shoes next to it lol I've got my media unit I can't remember the website this was from once again this one was a little bit more of an expensive piece um, but I just think 
if I'm buying something, I look like a little housewife, like in my long dressing gown. I'm so picky with furniture and buying something and spending money on it means it's going to be good quality and I will have it for a very long time. So when I am finally able to buy a house, um... I can take all this with me and still love it. The candle holders you see on top are from Zara Home. I've just got some Pampas. I need a vase, but I kind of want a vase in that tone to go there. It's literally just in like a drink. Are they called like a carafe? I don't know, I'm not sure. You can see my little Alexa hiding at the back, of course. I've got a little notebook, which my sister made me once um, on there, and I just think it's beautiful, so I keep that out. I've got this little Gucci sticky pad notebook here, which I was sent once, but I think it's so fun. It's kind of like Japanese-y and sweet. I'm not happy with like this side at all and I still want to add stuff over to this side. I just need to buy it. Obviously, this is all a process. This is nowhere near done. It will take me so long to get this place done and I probably will never feel satisfied with it, but it will do for now. I also have my sister's painting that she did for me for my 20th birthday up there and it's just the most beautiful thing I own and I'm so lucky to have such a talented sister. How incredible is that it's from a blade music video if anyone was wondering me listening to blade i know who would have thought then we have my bedroom obviously i've got my new bedside tables from oka they're so gorgeous this is probably the most unfinished room actually that room is the most unfinished room, but I'm just not even showing it. It is that bad. I try and avoid going in there myself. My bed frame I got from a company called, what were they called? Feather and Black. And funnily enough, I think my mum used to date the guy who owned it, or her son. I don't know, she'd probably kill me for saying that lol. Back in the day when she was a player, Emma going around, breaking young boys' hearts. Cool. These two blankets here are from Zara Home. And the big cushion is from Zara Home. These are the cushions that I was talking about that I got from John Lewis. And I have a bit of a bone to pick with these because they were so expensive. I literally think they were maybe like 100 a cushion. They molt so much. Like so much fluff comes off of them. So obviously I'm sat on my sofa more than I'm sat on my bed. And just all the fluff will get all over me, all over the sofa. So I thought it was better to move the cushions. I mean, they're both pretty similar. They give off the same vibe. I've then also got my vase here, which I'm hoping to put some really nice stuff in. Really warm to this. I think it's super beautiful and really complements my bedside tables. So cute. Really enjoying. I did my makeup in here once after a couple drinks and just dropped it all over the shop. So I need to put this in the washing machine, like find out a way of putting it in the washing machine or I'm gonna have to scrub it out with my hands because it is filthy. I've got some bits on the side here, nothing too exciting, nothing too crazy. I've got like a toothbrush holder, everything coming from Zara Home, but I swear to God, this Zara Home package has just gone MIA. Like it was supposed to be delivered on the 20th of July. Beachwear. I am very content. So everyone, that is the end of this video. I really, really, really hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you liked the flat. Um, I really love it. I'm really happy here. I feel like we've got quite a lot done in quite a short amount of time, quite a lot in. I'll have another sort of vlog like this soon, I'm sure. It's gonna be a long old process. I love you all so much. Thank you all so much for supporting me and being excited about the things that I get excited about with me. It's like little friends getting excited together. It's so weird because it's almost like we're kind of sharing this flat. Like, you know what my home looks like. I spent every day here and you know what that looks like. I love you all so much. I hope you are happy, healthy, thriving, and I hope it's sunny wherever you are. Pablo gives you kisses. And I will see you all very soon. Bye.